G'day Smoke and Dagger fans, let's talk barbecue. Here we have the 57 centimeter Weber Kettle Master Touch Plus. What makes it a plus? I'm going to show you. So look at the external features, you can see pretty standard kettle, vent, temp gauge. What's not standard? This handle, lovely, durable. Little bracket for putting a temp probe, putting a beer, putting a utensil, whatever you like really. We also have this mounting bracket over here. The lid sits in nicely. Here we see at the bottom, we have our vent control. Marking here is as to closed, halfway full smoke. This is in our one touch cleaning mechanism, which I'll show you when we're inside the barbecue. Ashtray here. Don't feel me getting this back in because it never goes in clean. <laughs> So this might look like a pretty standard grate, but I can assure you it's not. We have this center insert, which can be replaced with any number of Weber accessories. So a grill, a pizza stone, that's a fantastic little feature there. Like most Webers, we also have the grate that comes up on both sides, add coal to your baskets or whatever's underneath, easy access. So something that comes with the Weber Master Touch Plus, as you can see, I've had quite a bit of use of, is this deflector plate. Chuck this over the top of the charcoal ring and it will deflect heat, low and slow, easy done. Here's where I put our fuel. So pretty standard charcoal baskets on both sides, the Vortex. This does not come with the Weber Master Touch Plus. However, I highly recommend it if you're ever doing anything like chicken wings. You might notice with the actual grate here, it's got a bit of a weird design. Imagine put a couple of fire layers in here, light them, put your charcoal basket or whatever on top. That little bit of extra airflow gets it going a little bit quicker. And lastly, we have our propeller looking system here. This is the Weber One Touch cleaning system. Pull this mechanism here, slides around and cleans everything into the gaps. I've had this thing for probably a year and a half now. It can do literally anything from slow and slow to hot and fast. So I'm talking wings, steaks, sausages, maybe even some veggies competitors it's really only competing with the other weather kettles so this is the top of the line this is the plus and do you need to go out and buy a plus my answer would probably be no these premium features are all nice to haves you can get around them with barbecue practice good barbecue setup you don't need them if you've got the money and if you want it i'd absolutely encourage the plus